Hello, hello, hello. Hey guys, it's Riley's Little Space, his little space, whatever you know me as. And welcome back to my age regression channel. Today I wanted to talk to you about a topic that I feel is really important within the community, and that is age play versus age regression. These are two very separate things that a lot of people tend to mesh in together, and I think it's very important to recognize that they are separate and why they are separate. Age play is a role play. Sexual or not, it's where someone pretends or acts to be at an age other than their own age. This is usually a subset of BDSM, and it includes communities like DDLG, MDLB, the age play community, infantilism, and the age play community is an adult community. It is an 18 plus community for a reason, and that's because of its ties to kink and BDSM. Now, age regression is when somebody mentally reverts back to an age younger than themselves. Sometimes this is voluntary and people can do it at will. Sometimes it's involuntary where people regress due to trauma, mental illness, or stress. It's not all always related to those things, but a lot of times that's where it stems from. Some people can regress solely because they enjoy it, and that's also okay. Age regression is never a sexual thing because you are mentally in the mindset of like a two-year-old or whatever your regression age is, and you lose your ability to consent to things like sex. Most of these communities are Tumblr-centric and online-centric, and less of like you meet in person and meet all these people. And this includes communities like CGLRE, Kid Hearted, Chi Ray, I think there's some more, but there's a lot of of them springing up on Tumblr that it's hard for me to keep track. And from the definitions of both, you can tell that they are very separate. Age regression is something that anybody at any age can experience, and a lot of people who age regress find out they do in their older kid to teen years. Age play is probably something that develops within your teen years and into your adulthood, and is a community that is based for adults. Now, people will argue that minors who age regress can't be involved in communities like CGL, but CGL is kind of an umbrella term that can cover both non-sexual age regression and sexual age play. So in my personal opinion, minors who are involved in safe for work CGL is one thing, but as soon as it crosses over into the sexual age play is another, and that is a bad thing, and that shouldn't happen. But that's another reason why communities like CGL Re exist, which stands for Caregiver Little Regression, and is a purely regression-based community for age regressors who like to have caregivers and the caregivers of age regressors. That is never a sexual community. There there's no power exchange involved there. Whereas with age play, there's usually a mommy or daddy dom or a caregiver that is in a sexual way and it's more of a dom sub dynamic. Age regression communities don't have the dom sub dynamic. It's more of people tying your shoes, reminding you to take your medication. It's not a sexual thing, nor is it a power exchange. It's just someone reminding you to take care of yourself. Whereas with age play, it's more do this because mommy or daddy said so, and it can be a more sexual thing. It's not always sexual. The dom sub aspect is not always a sexual thing, but it is an adult thing in an adult community since it is a subset of BDSM. Now, people can participate in both age regression and age play, but it is something that should be kept incredibly separate. Like, someone can have a daddy kink and like the dom sub dynamic in the bedroom and in some aspects of their life, but they can also experience age regression where they regress and revert back to an age younger than themselves in order to cope with something or to relieve stress or because they enjoy it. And these two things should never mix. Because when you regress, you become unable to consent to adult acts such as sex and things like that. And so if you are able to do that while regressed, that is definitely more of a role play because if you in your mind are able to consent to an adult act, that is a role play, that is age play and not age regression. But like I said, people can participate in both. People can both have a diaper fetish and wear diapers for comfort or incontinence reasons or because it makes them feel safe. They can do both of those things, but they should be kept somewhat separate. This is why I highly encourage people who have both a sexual CGL side and an age regression side to have separate blogs for the separate things. A lot of the times the age regression and age play communities do not want to be tied in together and that makes a lot of sense. There are a lot of minors in the age regression communities and they should not be associated with kink communities like DDLG. In DDLG, LG should not be associated with age regression communities like CGL Re and Chi Ray. So moral of the story is to keep the two things separate, understand the difference between the two, understand why one person from one community might not want you to 
interact if you're from another community, and ultimately just respect people's decisions and beings. If the people are over 18 and they're participating in age play, that's an adult consensual thing, and that's an okay thing. There's nothing wrong or bad about that. If people are overage or underage and an age regressor, there's nothing bad or wrong or sexual about that. I hope this made a little sense, and I hope this shed some light on the differences for you guys. If you did enjoy this video and find it helpful, please give it a big thumbs up, and you can subscribe to this channel for more videos related to age regression. Sometimes I'm in little space with them, and sometimes I'm more educational like I was with this video. If you hit the bell button down there, you can be notified whenever I upload a new video, which is really cool if you do like to see content like this. You can follow me on all of my age regression or little social media down below. The links are in the description, and you can also follow me on my main stuff if you want to see what I do in my day-to-day -day life. I love you guys a lot. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next week. Goodbye!